everybody, it's Disney Queen Skelly here. Goodness, I am, I am having a day. And it's funny because almost all, almost all the things that have happened to me today are Disney related, if you could believe it. So, I just figured if, you know, if anything, I could vent to the internet, right? Oh my god, like my day started out fine. Got up, got ready for work. And I work for a driving company. I won't say which one because it's not fair to them to mention their name, but I work for a driving company. And as I'm getting ready, I, I'm putting on my makeup, right? And all of a sudden, because I'm watching Disney Plus while I get ready, so as I'm watching it, right, the whole thing just shuts down. Well, not shuts down, but like it says, um, like, we can't reach your account right now. You know, please try again, re-log in to your account. I was like, all right, you know, this has happened before on my laptop. I'll just turn off the Wi-Fi and turn it back on again, right? Well, I tried that, and it didn't work on my phone. So I was like, okay, I just did my phone glitching. I'm going to restart it, and let's see if it works on my laptop. Same thing happened on my laptop. It wouldn't even let me log in. It just showed me the home page, and that was it. So... I called and a very nice gentleman picked up and helped me through it. Turns out it was my Wi-Fi that was acting up. I just never seen it act up that badly. And thankfully he gave me um, advice on how to restart the, the router specifically for this uh, type of, um, you know, service. Because I know you could always pull, pull it, the plug out, put it back in. But apparently there's a restart button on this one, so, you know, I just have to try that. So, I left for work, started my drive, and I went to go pick a person up. Well, when I tried to, you know, swipe to get the route started, it wouldn't go. And even my passenger noticed, too. I was like, ah, oh, shit. So I asked her, I was like, where are you going? She goes, Disneyland. I said, well, good. I know where that is. So I turned off my app, got my navigation app on, and we took off. I said, consider this a free ride, you know, until, you know, I'll figure out what's going on with, with, um, my app. She goes, are you sure? I was like, think of it as a ride from a friend. Don't worry about it. So I dropped her off. She said, thanks. And I was like, yeah, it's no trouble at all. So I get home and I look at my emails and it turns out that I received an email from this company saying that, you know, someone had, like, my account had been compromised or, like, someone had hacked into it. I was like, really? Like, you'd think i get this message sooner, you know what I mean? Like, not while I'm out driving trying to fix my app. So I had to reset my password and reset everything else. The next one going driving out is Thursday, so hopefully it works then. And on top of that, um, these are two things that aren't Disney related, so I'm applying to different jobs at the moment, just trying to find something that I can stick with, you know, for a while. So I applied to um, a fragrance department at a local store near my house, and um, I went straight to voicemail because my phone filters out um, unknown callers because I don't like those, those spam calls, and of course I can turn it off, but I mean, I, I just, I don't want to receive those phone calls, and even if they do go to voicemail, and I check it, I can always call back if it's that important, so I call the company back, and the person who picked up said they'd direct me into their HR department, so I got directed to their HR department, when I got directed to their HR department, they told me that the person I needed, they, they asked me who I needed to speak to, I said I couldn't exactly hear the person's name over the voicemail. It was a little, you know, foggy or muffled. That's what I'm looking for. It was muffled. And the person said, well, unfortunately, we can't do anything about it unless you know the person's name. This isn't our department. I was like, oh, God. So I hung up, re-listened to the voicemail, found out the person's name, found out their extension. I called the company back, and I, and I got a different person this time, and I typed in the extension, and the person said, hi, how can I help you? I said, hi, I'd like to speak to this person, please. They called me and uh, left a voicemail about a job interview in the fragrance department. And they were like, oh, well, yeah, I'll, I'll direct you to their extension. I was like, oh, thank you. 
person didn't pick up. So I left them a voicemail, put the company as a, a contact in my phone. That way, in case she does call me back, it'll go, it'll actually ring this time instead of, you know, going to voicemail like it did last time. Even though I'm three days late on calling them back, here's to hoping I can still get the job. And last but not least, um, I love to cook. Cooking is like one of the best, one of the biggest things I love to do. So I was cooking lunch today since I figured I've already had a really bad day. I just need something to make this better. So I was making lunch and we didn't have any, and I was making pasta. And we didn't have any pasta sauce, we didn't have any marinara. So I was like, okay, I'll just make my own pasta sauce. So I thought that we had some half, half and half, you know, half and half doesn't really have any kind of taste. So I put garlic powder, onion powder, salt, pepper in there. And this is probably stupid on my part. Put it on medium. Put a boil, uh, put a lid over it. Kids, don't put a lid on boiling uh, half and half that you're trying to make for a sauce. Because you know what'll happen? It'll boil over. I was so pissed. I had to clean the stove of where it boiled over. So I was moving pots to different burners as I picked up the the um the things that like covered the burners. I was picking those up, moving pots and pans around, and I was just livid. Like on top of cooking, I have to clean this up, and I just oh my god. So I sat down to eat, and you know I have plans tonight. I'm gonna go see um the new Jumanji movie. I mean I've already seen it, but I'm taking my husband to go see it. So and we also have dinner plans tonight. I'm just scared to see if anything else is going to go wrong the rest of the day, but hopefully my day turns around. Probably should have gotten the clue in my mascara down here, or my eyeliner down here smudged. Thankfully, you can't see it. <laughs> Thanks for letting me vent, guys. Metal Skeletons, you mean the absolute world to me. Even though there's only 11 of you, I love you so, so much. And I appreciate you watching my videos and just hearing me out every now and then. You guys are the best. I love you, little skeletons. I hope you have a fantastic day. I'm really sorry I haven't been keeping my promise on the con consistent videos every day. Um, I do have something written down for what I was supposed to post on, I think it was the third. So I'll just write a couple more things down for the fourth and right I only had to do yesterday and today. Okay. Well, then I'll just find something quick for today to read to you guys. And it'll be another double feature like I had last time. Thank you guys so much for understanding. I love you so much, my little skeletons, and I hope you have a fantastic day. Um, I will see you in my next video. Bye, everybody.